Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Rosalinda. Hola. Thank you so much for being here girl. Thank you for coming back. I appreciate you. It is a beautiful day out here and el solcito está así como caliente. Salió today and today is my day off and I wanted to take you guys along with me. My days off are always different like I don't always have a typical maybe I would have a typical day off where like I have the same routine um, especially when I was training for my race um, I made it a priority that on my days off I would do my long runs so for the most part I stuck to that like where I would wake up and do my long runs or um, sometimes one out of my two days off one of them I always sleep in make sure that one of the days I would sleep in but today was one of those days um, and then the other days I just do like you know my long runs and stuff but today I did sleep in yay I needed that because because I wake up at four in the morning almost every day so I need to sleep in at least one day out of the week so today was that day and I thought I'll bring you guys along with with me to run some errands and just have some fun and then we can talk about my running like a journey I would say and my clean eating um I guess I don't know my clean eating and my running I've been getting some questions about that I just don't feel like I'm a pro so I was like I what would I make a whole video out of it but I know that some of you guys want to know how I got started and how is it going and all that stuff. I'll give you some tips and tricks because I've been doing this successfully for the clean eating. I feel like it's been five years, but I didn't really get into it until last year. And then running, I've always been running, but since I had a, a race, I really did it. Um, I really started running like, I think October of last year consecutively so it's been a while so i'll give you guys um my i guess my tips and tricks of how to stick with it we'll talk a little bit about all of that later by the end of the vlog but right now we'll do the fun stuff and you guys would come along with me at erewhon i came to a different one i came to the venice one because i haven't been to this one um i want to get a little bit of breakfast uh before we do our errands so let's go ahead and do that and let me show you the delicious breakfast that they have yes, oh my gosh i'm back i didn't even show you guys anything it's always so hard to film in there because almost every store is so tiny it's so so tiny and it's packed i came to the venice one and this one's like so much more packed than all the other ones but let me show you really quick what i got i got um uh avocado toast which i love oh my gosh last time i had it and it was so good and then i got a quesadilla like a bacon and cheese like breakfast quesadilla that one's new i'm gonna try that one but the avocado toast so good i'm gonna eat it right now um and then i wanted to try something sweet so i got this a cheesecake it's like a i don't know if it's this one's raw it's new york cheesecake okay it's just a regular one because they have like raw the one where like you don't have to bake it um and then this is my favorite toothpaste and i've been using it for quite some time i used to get it at target but they don't carry it anymore so whenever i come here i definitely get one this one's so good and then this hand cream i thought i got it last time but it wasn't in my bag so i guess i didn't but this one's such a good brand and it's clean and it leaves your hands so moisturized i love and of course i had to get my favorite water you already know i got two of these um and that's it that's all i got and then my food let me see if this one was this one this one's the avocado yeah they call it super green tartine pero pues literal is an avocado toast oh it fell okay well i can't really show you porque mira se me cayó todo <laughs> but i don't think this is the one that i got last time okay well i'm just gonna eat my breakfast really quick and then there's a costco around here we have to get dog food you guys look what they have at Costco. This all stainless steel like set, 12 pieces, that's a lot for $200. You get all of that. Honestly, that's all you need. If you're looking to change your um, your pans to like cleaner ones, honestly, like stainless steel, you cannot go bad with that one. It's just that it is a little intimidating to cook, but that one's such a good deal. All right, I just got what I need. I got the food, I got some hangers, and we're done. Okay, we are back. So I just got back. I was literally out all day, all, all morning. Ya es la una y algo. 
but it's okay because we still have the rest of the day but that was really fun going out and doing my little errands so at costco i just got the food and hangers i get these hangers i'm pretty sure you guys have seen them it's um these 50 hangers and they're like velvet black i don't like the black velvet but it's literally the only ones they have and i feel like this is the best deal you're going to find out there 50 hangers for like 13 dollars like you're not gonna find that deal anywhere else and i've tried i looked at amazon i looked for like the white velvet i looked for other ones and i think you get like 10 for 25 dollars like they're not they don't have good deals on hangers this is the best one but they're just black velvet no me gustan mucho but i needed some so that's what i got then at gusto as you saw i always get my regular bread which is called their california loaf which is just a regular regular sourdough bread i love sourdough bread for anything and everything girl like it's just it's so good it's such a good bread so this is how it looks like i freeze half of it and i leave half in the bottom fridge and i just go through it throughout like it takes me like a week to go through half of it and then the next week i'll bring down the other half and then it's kind of how it goes with the bread because with Chiro doesn't really like this bread so it's basically just for me so one loaf lasts me like two two and a half weeks and i got this one to new it's their oh my gosh i forgot what they call this one like buena noche i think i'm not sure but it looks sort of like a baguette but they said that it's the same style that they it's the same bread that they use when they make bol um birotes and i wanted a birote because i was like oh i want to make a torta because they they sell like torta bread to other restaurants and i saw it but they don't sell it there but he said that this is the bread that they use you just have to cut it so i was like okay so i got this one and i got an oreja which is chef's kiss, kiss that is the number one like sweet bread that i get from there i like it more than their conchas but the oreja delicious okay so that is what i got it but everything they have is so good like i love it so if you guys are around long beach cool store if you, like check out like your nearby bakeries and see what they use they should be able to tell you but stick to like minimal ingredients like at everyone they did have a sourdough that only had three ingredients and i was like oh that's pretty good i said like, no let me just go to gusto let's support gusto as well so I go to everyone a lot but that's my little errand for the day and then that's it that's all i i went and i did for my errands so let's get to the fun part of the talking of this video um if you made it this far or if you want to leave now that is fine also but yes so i have gotten a few questions or a few requests to do a video about like running like how to get started what do you do what do you do for the training for the marathon for the half marathon and other questions about like my healthy food um journey which insane to me that like that we call this like healthy eating which is like just what we're supposed to be doing this whole time and just like nourishing our body with proper ingredients and proper food and of course it's all about information and getting educated which is what i have done over the years it's just that i have gone out of my way to learn ingredients i have i follow pages i read articles i read books like that would lead me into like or helping me understand what um, obviously the food in America is made out of and a lot of things that we grew up with it's time to let that go or obviously things that are and things that are obvious to us but it's hard for us to let go like sugar intake and like sweet drinks I mean I'm still I still drink my coffee every day so it's something that like it'll probably be really hard for me to let go or in some cases for other people it might be soda like something that we know is bad but we don't let it go because it's like our little comfort it makes us happy right like coffee makes me brings me joy i'm sure that drinking a coke with your meal also you know ties up the whole meal together for you as well but i think when it comes to making like the jump into trying to be i hate that we have to call it like clean i would say clean eating like when we're making the jump to clean eating that we are aware of what we're putting in our bodies and what we're eating at our home for the most part because that's what we can control we can't really control outside when we're like on a road trip when you know we're running late and all there is it's like a fast food restaurant or when the kids are like they need something to eat and we don't have anything like stuff like that i get it like 
there are these places that are convenient for us when you know we don't have time to cook a whole meal uh, we get like prepare stuff from the deli um stuff like that i get it like you know we're only humans and we need things that would work for us but i think that the biggest change that you can start making when it comes to clean eating is starting in your pantry and in your fridge and obviously in your stove like what the stuff that you cook and what you have inside um i know that it might be overwhelming with uh, like so much stuff and obviously the stores um and the ingredients reading an ingredient um so i started sort of like I kind of knew a little bit um, of like ingredients and stuff like that, but like I think more stuff started coming out just as the internet grew. It was easier because you always had your phone in your hand. So that's when I started noticing things because then there'll be like article news sources and they would have like, oh, this scientific article about red, red dye 40, this article about, you know, like non-organic meat, stuff like that. And then I'll be like, oh, that sounds interesting. Let me read it. So that's kind of how it started. And then in my late twenties, I got, very bad hormonal acne and that has to do with your gut when you have adult acne for the most part there might be other factors but for the most for me it was my gut so i had to start healing my gut and that's sort of like what really led me into jumping into clean eating and reading um, my ingredients like your resources around you the stuff that is around you and then um the things that you grew up with like that's what makes a change in you and then you decide to change these habits Again, for me, clean eating and exercising has always been a part of that. Like I want to live a good, healthy life, like long life and my quality of life. I want it to be really good. I don't want to be a burden to my future children. I don't want to be a burden to my family. Like I just want to be able to take care of myself for as long as possible. And yeah, I just want to be able to do all of these things. Obviously, when you get to a certain age, you do need help. But like to maintain my longevity of being healthy for as long as possible and there's been so many things linked to like chronic disease and of course like diabetes and cancer to all these processed foods that are in everything like sugars in everything like they put it in everything and it's not like oh just regular sugar it's gonna be like processed white filled with chemical sugar or the inflammatory oils and stuff like that so you know it's a whole thing um there's plenty of resources out there i just you know if i have a question in mind i just type it in google or read the scientific articles i'll make sure that they're from legitimate sources and on instagram there's so many pages like i started with bobby which you guys always hear me talking about all I'll um, link the um, the ones that I follow so you guys can follow as well. But like I started with Bobby, then I follow Hunter, I follow Olivia. Like there's these are all people that are all about like clean and healthy eating, which they have helped me. Like Bobby alone has helped me a lot with this app because girl, before I would be in the in the aisles just looking at the labels forever. So that's a really good app it's not perfect but for the most part once you start reading and doing your own research you'll find out that like a certain ingredient is not good so you'll be like oh i don't want that one at all per se then i have a little bit more intense girl that all she does is talk about like the the ingredients and she breaks them down so i'll tag her as well she is very informational like super super informational i don't think she's a fear mongol that they call them um but she's very i i feel like the people that i follow for the most part are very like not perfect nobody's gonna be perfect but like there you know i still feel like i'm right here because i'm like a balance you know they're pretty like i don't think they've ever had well i don't think now they would get like you know like a like a coffee with sugar but anyways um she specifically goes in detail on ingredients and like pesticides and why things should be organic and all that stuff so she is great um that i'll put her in there as well so it's just about like informing yourself it's learning it's asking questions you guys can always ask me questions i look at my dms uh for specific things but i'm not perfect um but i do what i can but yes it all started with just me want like me wanting to heal my gut and my acne and then it just turned into okay this is going to help me live a longer healthier life like my my quality of life would be so much better so um i've been doing it for like maybe five years but i really got deep into it last year so i can say with ease that my pantry and my fridge are completely clean and just 
simple ingredients and stuff and organic and all that stuff which is what i love because all the foods i make like i i i make breakfast almost every day i make lunch for myself and um raul for his uh, work and then dinner i always have a very simple dinner and then raul makes his own dinner but for the most part like breakfast and lunch and then the little snacks that we have in between are clean and i try to keep things like very simple and nourishing of course you guys see me on my instagram on the weekends we do like to go to different restaurants we like to try different things so that's kind of where we get our little indulgence from but for the most part monday through friday it's clean and it's in here it's all about educating yourself it's, it's a lot and look i already talked so much about this but basically like starting to clean out your fridge and keep a clean um pantry and in and, and refrigerator is about your ingredients and about getting informed um you just have to do the research and look out and follow uh play follow people follow accounts that would help you get there and guide you because it is a lot um of things that you have to change and you don't necessarily need if you like to kick if you like to still cook traditionally you can still cook traditionally just without having you know all those additive things like even the seasonings like they put so much other additive stuff in seasoning like you don't need to like a salt a pepper and make sure that it's just like the powders like you don't need to add preservatives into a seasoning because if you just keep it there in your shelf um without like heat or moisture they'll last you and they'll still taste pretty delicious so like things like that um hopefully that helps it's really just getting educated and doing your research and i know it's annoying but thanks to instagram to tiktok there's plenty of people out there that can show you the way um and if you have any questions you can always let me know i try to put as much as i can i do for the most part just go to sprouts that is my store I, they do have a lot of options whole foods sometimes but it's not that close to me so i don't go that often and the good thing is that costco has gotten really good about adding more things like before they didn't have this many options like now they have so many options and it's good because i know that these changes can be expensive not necessarily even if you have a big family it's just what you buy and you just have to look for sales like at sprouts they have sales like on the big packs of meat as well just in the grass and they're grass-fed organic so that could be fine for a family right for a big family um even though we do i do feel like we pay a lot for groceries and it's only two of us it is only two of us um it'll last us a long time i don't know for families i know that it might be a bigger hit but just think of the investment you're doing in yourself and your kids for your future self i know that it could be a lot but making little changes here and there like get real butter and now margin margarine that's a good start you know get organic milk instead of getting like the fake milk with all added things to it there's different there's a2 milk as well that you can have so there's so many different even your eggs you can start with your pasture raised eggs as well not just the white eggs you know so making little changes like that will help but yes my journey started with healing my gut then my longevity of my life my quality of life and after a while your taste must change girl because at the beginning yes things didn't taste good like i know i promote sunday cereal and at the beginning i was like man this cereal has no flavor and it's hard but after a while, your taste buds just change and they just start liking it. And you're like, oh, let me add, you know, you add your stuff. Like I add my banana and I have it with my regular milk, which is delicious. You know, when I have it with almond milk, I'm like, oh, you know, it's missing something. But your taste buds are going to change. You're no longer going to start craving certain things. And you're going to see it in your body too. Like as soon as I started removing a lot of the stuff that had those oils, like I wasn't bloated as much. So things like that you'll see and then it'll keep you motivated to change. So a lot of resources out there i'll put all the people that follow now the running um i used to run in high school and i did cross country and track and i did i joined like freshman year track so i did track for the four years but i only joined uh i joined cross country like in my sophomore year so i only do it for three i really loved um cross country like that was my favorite I just love long distance running and track was fun because there was like hurdles and long jump and all this other stuff. So I started running since I was like 14 and I ran. I have always ran even since I graduated, but not consecutively or not as much. And as like at that level, like obviously I did to compete in high school, but running has always been a part of me. And honestly, out of all the workouts that you can do to keep yourself healthy and active, I always thought that running is the easiest 
and the cheapest because it's free <laughs> you know if you're going through some time where like you can't afford the gym or you can pay for yoga classes and stuff like that like to me it was like i'm just gonna go run like that'll be my exercise that'll be me moving my body you just pick up and run and literally that's what running is like it's like it's an escape. It's something to help you push yourself. It, it obviously gets your heart rate up. It has so many benefits. You get outside, you see the sun, you're in the streets. Um, or if you have a treadmill, you know, you do it in your treadmill. It is more boring, but you know. Um, either way, running is just so easy because you stretch. I just make sure that I stretch and then I'm in my head, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna run two miles. And you just run one mile out, one mile in. That's it. You moved, you know, it, it's better than nothing at all. So I think that you don't need to have anything in particular. You don't need to be training for anything. You don't need to have like a super big plan, like just to get running, like just start, like say, oh, I'm going to start with two days a week because that's what I can afford right now. Right. So you do two days a week and you do two miles. And obviously, if you're just starting, if you never ran in your life or if running is not your favorite, because I get it, running could be like it's tiring and then you're like huffing and puffing and it takes a lot to build up your endurance and your cardiovascular health, like cardiovascular from your heart, your heart rate. Like some people just like they die in the first mile. And I trust me, whenever I let go of running for a while and then I come back, the first mile I'm dying, like I need to stop and I need to drink a gallon of water because I'm like, oh my gosh, you just lost all of that, right? So it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard for all of us just whenever we let go of something and we jump back on it. Like it's so hard. Um, You know, even when you weight lift and like you weight lift it for three years straight and then you stop for like one week and you're going to be sore the next time you go back into the weight. So don't be afraid. It's another thing where like it's motivation it's you how bad you want it how bad you want to change how much you want to change how bad you want to make that change so it all comes down to our men to ourselves and our mentality right because trust me i get it you guys it's been hard um and i had to push myself so so much for everything for like staying clean and clean eating and for running but if you just keep at it and even if you just say like one day at a time yes it's gonna be one day at a time but then right now it's one day and then in six months you know it could be such a big difference so just start whenever you can start and it'll be like today like just you can even start with one mile just one one mile and see where you are see how you feel and then you add another mile and then you add another mile every week so that will build up your mileage and you get there now for the half marathon um i don't i didn't have like a training uh schedule per se i do use the nike run app they have like um training they have training plans so if you do have that app and i'm sure a lot of apps like strava probably has one um i think i had like a6 running i'm sure all these apps and they're free you can get them um they have like these plants that you can pick so i i did end up picking like i think by i did end up looking at the app and they had a half marathon training plan and i just looked through it to see what it had and it has intervals and it has like long distance and it has mid distance and it has sprints um, and it tells you like this is your rest day you should incorporate weights on this day so it is pretty good i just never followed one of those training plans even for the marathon for me is that i just need to keep pushing myself for long distance so i just kept increasing my mileage so when from when i first registered which was in october i started with four miles because that's where i was at the time i could only run four miles so i did four miles for two weeks and then afterwards i did okay this week is six i would upgrade it by two then um it, the next week was two miles was six miles and then i was like, okay i'm good at six miles so i did eight miles and then 10 and then 12 um and you don't need to run more than whatever the race is so it's like you can get up to two like 13 you can run the whole 13 in, in one in one practice um i did and i ran 12 so that's what I did. I just kept increasing my mileage and um, I would do two days of long distance. So usually it would be my days off. So we do one day of 10 and then the other day would do 12. And then the three days in, because I would run for day, five days, the three days in the week, I would do six 
miles. So that's kind of how just, I just, I don't know, I didn't really come up with any, like that's what I came up with, that I wanted to keep up my miles, but like long distance, I think what would have helped me be faster in the race was if I would have um, put intervals and sprints because I am so bad at that. Like I don't have the endurance to keep up in a sprint. Um, and I do get scared about going fast. So my thing is that I can last, but like at a steady pace, which is fine. But if I do want to get a better time, then yeah, I need to include the other stuff. So I think if I were to do another one, which I do want to do another half marathon this year, I'm going to include that. Um, but honestly, is a tip for starting your running journey, just start. Start with one or two miles. Um, try to do it as many days as you can during the week. You can go in the, you can go around your block. You can go on the treadmill. I do it on my walking treadmill, and I feel like I have surpassed the the fastness of of this one. But I still do it, you know, because it's better than nothing. I still get a sweat. I still sweat, and I run for more than a, more than an hour on that thing. I just put a TV show, and I do that, you know. When I'm in the streets, I do feel the difference from running here and outside. I feel more winded. Um, but that's kind of how I started. If you book yourself, like if you sign up yourself for a race, you're definitely going to stay on plan because first of all, you pay for that race. Like <laughs> remember all these races cost money. So I pay for the race and, um, and obviously you start pushing yourself because you have a goal. You have to get to that race and then you run the race and you get this time. And you're like, Oh my gosh, like. I could have gone faster oh my gosh I PR or you know whatever it is so it definitely helps to sign up yourself for any kind of race like a 5k a 10k a, ha a half marathon um, at the beginning right um, and then you know eventually if you want to do a full marathon like a full marathon is also awesome when I did the marathon I had I I did it opposite you know I did a full marathon first and then a half marathon but I don't know what I was thinking just at that time I was like oh do a marathon and um, I wasn't working so I had time to train for a marathon and you need a lot more time for a marathon and yeah I just did it and I was tired and I, on that one I was like I never want to run again like right after this one I didn't feel as tired but uh, for a full marathon you do feel really tired but I feel like I felt so accomplished like it was such a bucket list thing like for me to run at least one marathon you know so that was fun and this one was also fun it's like such an accomplishment and one thing about me kind of getting personal um is that I don't uh I'm very hard on myself like I'm so so hard on myself like I don't often talk nice about myself I'm like my worst critic and I'm always like you know when you say like oh I haven't accomplished anything right like I feel like maybe we all say that but like I'm very like very hard on myself and after I did this half marathon I was so happy and I was so proud of myself like me like I was so proud of myself that I did this that I didn't stop that I didn't walk that I pushed through it because those last two miles were so hard for me I pushed and I pushed and I was like don't walk don't walk don't walk you got this you got this like just repeating it in my head this whole time and it worked so well it was the first time in so long that I've been so proud and honestly keeping up with this clean eating too making the change and running five days a week like I have not been so <laughs> so proud of myself and like felt so accomplished in such a long time and I tell you that I should tell you that like I am just so hard on myself like for a lot of things it's something that I really have to work on because I am truly like I I would not the way I talk to myself I would never talk to anyone else like no one no one deserves like the things that I say that I say to myself and I know that is really bad but it's just I think the, I think it's two things it's the immigrant in me and is the older sister in me like those two things really are the force why I am so hard on myself because obviously as an immigrant um I feel like you're never fulfilled and you never if you're not like successful and rich and all these things like you feel like such a failure to all the immigrants and all the people that have come here and have like would want what you have and i feel like you're i'm always like i take it for granted i never did anything blah blah you know that um and then as an older sister i'm like i need to be a better example i need to like 
you know do this and that and like i'm not giving them this and i'm like who do they have to look look up to stuff like that like that always gets stuck in my head i'm not trying really hard to work on that because yeah i put myself down too often so this like running getting back on track and running this race like has really boosted my my confidence and it has really made me proud of myself which i don't often get to say I know sad, but I don't often get to say that I'm proud of myself. So it has really helped. So whatever it is that you guys are feeling that you need to make a change in your life, go ahead and do it. Your future self is going to thank you so much for doing it. Um, and, you know, just keep on pushing yourself because when you push yourself, I, I know that in the moment, it's like, oh my God, fudge, I just want to stop. This is so hard. Like this food tastes nasty, like whatever. You're gonna feel it. You're gonna go through days. Like I get it. Like you're gonna go through days, but you have to keep on pushing. And then you look back in this time around, and you're like, oh my gosh, it's been a year. It's been a year since I started working out. It's been a year since I changed my my health, my my food options, and it shows. Obviously, also like like you get a lot of other things with it, like losing weight or your clean your your skin is clear. You get more energy. You know things like that, and that motivates you even more those are more motivators to keep continue on changing this lifestyle so with that with all of that said i talked like 40 minutes now hopefully you guys stayed i know that these like they just tend to be like this you know long because i just want to talk to you guys like this and like kind of go through the process and explain to you you know because i don't know what else i would show you again i'm not a pro um, that's why I feel like I don't talk about it often because I still have my indulgence here and there and on the weekends um, and obviously I'm not perfect with like my running I feel like I'm still slow you know but I just started I started both I started you know getting rid of all the preservatives and all the bad stuff that I had in my kitchen in my pantry in my fridge a little bit here and there and then all, all of a sudden now everything's clean and then with running the same i was like i need to run i started running and then i saw that they had this race and i was like i'm gonna sign up for it and i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna train and here we are now continuing with my running i do want to do more races throughout the year i'm doing a 5k in two weeks um, and then I think the family wants to, Rose family wants to do another 5k. So I'm just excited. I'm excited for all of that. And I feel like, um, once, once you start and you like see your progress in years, like you realize, you know, how much you've done for yourself. So if you guys have any questions, if you guys want to ask me something, you can ask me in the comments or you can go to my, um, Instagram. I, um, always respond over there. Um, and I'll tag all the people that I follow that I said for the clean eating and the recipes down below. And I'll put the runners that I follow too as well. They're very helpful. Um, but the number one tip is just start and just do it, girl. Like that's all you need. Your future self would definitely thank you. And your kids, if you have them or your future kids would also thank you. So, um, with all that to say, thank you so much for being here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.